Art Appreciation Two of the most notable art periods in human history are known as the medieval and renaissance art, renaissance art periods. While the two are vastly different in their focus, technique, and other areas, many of the artists from both genera came from the same place, places and shared many things in common with one another. Medieval art is characterized as darker period that range from about the 15th century to roughly the 16th century. It was widely known for being a time in which artists heavily focused on religious works which featured, featured depictions of Christian and Jude, Judeo-Christian stories and beliefs in the form of painting and sculpture. The Renaissance, on the other hand, was completely different in that it was a time when artists began to explore the brighter, more elegant ideals and values that were centered around an awakening and a time of learning, exploring, and developing things to make life better for all humankind. The very word Renaissance means awakening or rebirth, and it serves as fitting description of this time where legendary artists like Michael Angelo, Raphael, and Leonardo da Vinci thrive and produce works that are still considered to be the greatest paintings in history. Comparing and, contra and contrasting the medieval period with the Renaissance reveals some very interesting points as to how each movement developed and also shaped the course of history in their own right. Medieval Art Period the medieval art period began around the 15th century. According to the most historians and critics familiar with the time period, it spanned more than 1,000 years and some of the most prominent artists of medieval period are famous for their depictions of religious figures just like Jesus Christ and other Judeo-Christian Judeo religious leaders. Medieval art was produced during a time when the world was going through very dark and trying times for much of Europe and the rest of the world. The Middle Ages were a time of economic hardship as well as harsh rule by overly violent and bloodthirsty kings and emperors across, of, across much of the known world at that time. Throughout the medieval period, there were um, very few inventions and improvements in general as people were constricted by extremely strict gov governing entities. War and fighting was common during the Middle Ages and struggle, and struggle. Hardship and death was as a much part of a life of a beating for many people. After the first millennium was over, most of the Europe was no longer gripped by the invasions of outside cultures and life was no longer dominated by violent struggle, struggles in the same way it had been. So medieval painting. The medieval period saw many different specific styles, styles of art spring up throughout Europe and the Middle East. Some of these movements include the Romanesque, the Byzantine, and the Gothic. So mostly what we saw medieval painting, it focuses on religion and Christianity. It includes architectural details like mga stained glass arts, mga large murals sa mga walls and dome ceilings, and it even have a carving on buildings and columns. And it also included um, limited manuscript art and sculptures. Gothic art grew out of Romanesque art. So next is, medieval painting is the artistic influence were not limited to the painted canvas but rather showed in every part of the inside the large cities and population centers in the form of great architectural achievements and structures that are still revered as some of the greatest works of art in history. Some of the most important artworks from the time period toward the latter half of the medieval period could be accurately described as an effort on behalf of the artist to document historical events and stories. So in early medieval art, it had um, three major influences, which, is, which are the Christianity, 
the classical world of Rome and the pagan north, Christianity strongly influenced. I mean, Christianity, the classical world of Rome, and third is the pagan north. And Christianity strongly influenced the subject matter of early medieval art, which very often defects religion, figures, and scene. And as we observe, Mana, most art forms in the Middle Ages were considered to be medieval religious art. And common things niya for art pieces were mga about sa God and saints and were made primarily for the church. So medieval painting was mainly due to the fact that so few people had the ability to read. Read artwork serve as means of storytelling that could easily translate to any language. So the famous medieval paintings included first is the Lamentation or the Mourning of Christ. Second is the Wilton Diptych. Third is the Ghent Altarpiece. Fourth is the Presentation in the Temple. Fifth is the tip Diptych of the Virgin and Child Enthroned and the Crucifixion. As I above mentioned of mga famous painting, why was religion important to art in the Middle Ages? So, because art during the Middle Ages was more religious due to the church great power and influence over the community which heavily influenced art. And the Middle Ages saw an increase in the popularity of biblical art because artists were also guided by their theological views. That's why ganang ang medieval art Religion and Christianity. The Renaissance Art Period Compared to the medieval period, Renaissance art can be described as a more advanced time in which a great awakening was slowly taking shape across the known world. Italian painters, sculpture, and the others were at the center of the Renaissance movement and they are credited with producing some of the most notable artworks in human history that is still enjoyed to this day. The Renaissance saw great achievements in not only art, but science, literature, music, and other areas that had lasting effect on the course of history. Renaissance artists, much like their medieval counterparts, produced paintings that centered religious figures and scenes, but Renaissance painters were known for striving to incorporate as much beauty in their works as they possibly could. The early Renaissance began around 1480 and featured such artists as Giotto and Donatello who were prominent in painting and sculpture. The High Renaissance is perhaps the most famous period during the art movement as it was a time in which artists like Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, and many others that produced breathtaking works of art that are referred as some of most celebrated paintings and sculpture in human history. There was also a northern renaissance that happened outside of the Italy in countries like Germany, France, and England. When comparing the Italian renaissance versus the northern renaissance, the artists of the northern renaissance focus on a more human element to their art. Whereas in the Italian renaissance, biblical stories were used extensively for inspiration. These are the five famous paintings during renaissance period. Number 1. Mona Lisa The Mona Lisa could be considered the single most famous painting in the world and also the most famous smile to boot. Whose name Da Vinci has relatively few completed canvases when compared to other prolific components of the, of the time. However, all of his works are considered true masterpieces which is an accolade that is bestowed on very few people. The Mona Lisa is a half-height portrait and is believed to be Lisa Gardini, who was the wife of a rich Florentine merchant by the name of Francesco del Giocondo. Number 2. The Last Supper Like a lot of famous Renaissance works of art, The Last Supper is a religious scene that depicts the Last Supper of Jesus and his twelve apostles and was painted by Leonardo da Vinci. It is not the typical fresco that is normally painted on walls. Instead, Leonardo decided to use his preferred oil paints. 
Leonardo is said to favor oil as it is slow, dry, and allowed him to make changes and take a slower, more considered approach to work. Number 3. The Creation of Adam The creation of Adam was painted by Michelangelo in roughly 1508 to 1512. It formed the central image in the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel ceiling. The image depicts God giving life to Adam from the book of Genesis and has become one of the most iconic reproduced images ever produced. The total area is roughly over 500 square meters and it took Michelangelo over four years to finish what is one of the most complex and largest fresco paintings ever attempted. Number 4. Primavera Sandro Botticelli is believed to have painted Primavera in 1482. The name in the English means spring and the painting is sometimes referred to as allegory of spring. The actual scene and what it represents is cause of much debate among artistic scholars and commentators with some saying it portrays a mythical allegory and others the changing of the seasons. It is one of the finest Renaissance art examples and is not only of note due to its meaning but also in Botticelli's use of color which was rather striking for the age that it was painted in. Number 5. The Birth of Venus One of Botticelli's finest Renaissance works of art, The Birth of Venus, features Roman goddess Venus as she arrives on shore having been fully grown at sea, who was delivered on a giant shell. Sandro Botticelli was responsible for that other famous Renaissance painting that depicts a mythological image like the Primavera. The major differences in medieval and Renaissance art. The Middle Ages was well known as a time when art styles like Gothic genre emerged as prominent style across much of Europe. During this time, artists worked hard to design various cathedrals and other notable buildings in such a way that they featured pointed arches and reef vaults that they were largely unlike anything the world had ever seen until this point. Many medieval paintings were lacking in areas like perspective and overall detail when one looks at the works from the period. Many artists painted in the way that glorified the stories and beliefs of Judeo-Christian teaching, but there was not as much effort put into creating sharply realistic figures and scenes of beauty in the way the Renaissance painters worked. Many art historians have described medieval paintings as lacking much of the lifelike elements that Renaissance painters were able to achieve. They also note that the overall composition of medieval works are almost unable to be compared to the meticulous geometric perfections that Renaissance painters are famous for. So, the Renaissance paintings offer unique composition that direct the viewer's eye to the most important parts of the painting in many cases. And Renaissance paintings features a much higher level of realism in each and every portion of particular work. The most famous Renaissance painters are well known for their ability to create lifelike images and scenes that truly resonated with the viewer in the more ways that simply hearkening back to a religious stories or event in history. The level of depth perception in the works by painters like Da Vinci and others is truly astonishing. When comparing them to almost every other time period throughout history. So in a simple word that the medieval period paintings focuses on story and beliefs whereas the Renaissance paintings focus on higher level of realism. So in the conclusion, while mid while mid GVL artists main concentration was on religious painting and paintings of Christ. The level of quality of the own paintings was severely lacking in comparison to Renaissance painters. So, and the art historians 
called to the belief that artists and others from the time period were were more heavily focused on their individual religious belief than they were painting the masterful works of art. So, and the re the Renaissance was a time in which some of the most prominent artists in the world seem to have greater focus on the overall quality of their artwork than subject matter itself. So, this leads to some greatest masterpiece in history being painted. And many of the Renaissance works of art still remain among the most impressive, impressive works ever done. 